the National Botanic Garden of Wales are acutely aware of their environmental position and their responsibilities and they strive to reduce carbon uh, in all aspects of their business. One particular example is the installation of a biomass boiler um, which was uh, assisted uh, via a carbon trust interest-free loan. Um, this not only helped them reduce the carbon emissions on site but actually has saved them quite a lot of money and reduced their fuel bill. My name is Clive Edwards, I'm the Operations and Facilities Manager here at the National Botanic Garden of Wales in West Wales, Carnarthen. The National Botanic Garden of Wales is a garden that was um, created probably 20 odd years ago when a, a local artist, uh, William Wilkins, came here and um, noticed the, the potential of creating a botanic garden here. The garden has always had um, sustainability as part of its ethos. It was certainly in 2007, 2008, when the price of oil hit about $150 a barrel, that we seriously uh, looked at our, at our energy consumption uh, rather than the cost. It was a survey done by the Carbon Trust, and they came in and did a full survey of our energy requirements. One of the new um, technologies that was available was solar panels. That, um, at a cost of about 120, 130,000, generates us um, in the region of 20,000 pounds a year in income and in electricity savings. The heat requirements of the garden, and in particular uh, this great glass house, is in the region of uh, 7,000 kilowatt hours per day. Carbon Trust did come and do a feasibility study for us on the uh, potential use of a new 500 kilowatt boiler. In a typical week uh, in the winter months, um, we'll have a delivery of 20 tonnes of wood chip, um, which is required to generate the 1.4 million uh, kilowatt hours of heat that is required here. The biomass boiler will continually work whether there's a demand on it or not, and it fills two big buffer tanks up, um, 15,000 litre each, with hot water, a little bit like a, a flask at home. For the time being, we think that using this method, certainly for the next four or five years, then we would be looking at savings of up to, depending on the weather, between 60, 70, 80,000 pounds a year for the next five years. Maybe by then, if oil has doubled in its price, then, then the actual savings would be far more. Not all businesses have got the same challenges as the garden with regards to having to control the environment in the colossal greenhouse. Everyone can learn from the example set by the garden with regards to pushing the boundaries and looking for innovative ways of taking their carbon reduction programme forward. Funded by the Welsh Government, Carbon Trust Wales is an independent organisation which strives to nurture low carbon innovators. To find out more about how Carbon Trust Wales could help your business, visit www.carbontrust.com forward slash Wales or call 0800 085 2005.